Your crystal is lovely. Thank you. It's not Waterford. Baccarat. Then we are paying our associates too much. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we uh, got it quite reasonably. It's, uh, it's kind of an interesting story. Why don't you tell it, Barb? Well, <clears throat> we were in Paris. It was our fifth anniversary. <clears throat> we just had lunch in this wonderful little place in the market district called the Pas de Cochon. Pied de Cochon. Thanks. We were wandering around, and we came upon the Rue du Paradis, where the Baccarat has its factory and museum. Of course, I didn't know anything about this before I met Oliver. <laughs> I mean, my mother bought her glasses at the A&P, you know, the kind with the raised flowers always chipped off after a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And they were always yellow, too, remember? <laughs> anyway, here we were in this immense room filled with everything Baccarat had ever made. A field of crystal. It was so, so pretty. I mean, I felt... whatever the word. And suddenly, from the next room, we, we heard the sound of glass breaking. Well, I looked at Oliver, and, and Oliver looked at me, and then... Oh, yeah, no. Well, before that, there was this big black limousine out on the street. Now, now, this is important. Well, actually, before the limousine. To make a long story short, a wealthy French couple had ordered a special design for their anniversary, and by the time it was ready, they were getting a divorce. So the woman had smashed her half, and I convinced the man to sell us his half cheap, just to spite her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's our Baccarat story.